review copy of this game was provided by the developer. I'm Sir TapTap and welcome to Let's Play Neurovoider. As you can see here, this is a beta. The game's in early access. Uh, stuff's not final, blah blah blah. Oh goodness, that's loud. That's better. This is by Flying Oak Games. Um, this is a roguelike, so I've played it a bit before. The options menu is pretty simple. Um, I don't personally like the screen check in the game, so I turned it off. Otherwise, everything's pretty normal. I mean, it's a 2D game, so there's not too many options we can have here. Actually, is the resume option in here? Weird. I did exit a game, and I wasn't sure if the, you can continue or not um, like that. But So we have three different types of ship or robot in this game, I guess. The dash has a button where you can just dash and you, you're invincible through enemies. Uh, rampage, you can hold down a button and you fire faster and you move a little faster. I haven't found this very useful because you run out of energy. I guess it depends on which en weapons you use, but you run out of energy so fast. I don't find it very useful. And the fortress, which is what we're going to use, um, <laughs> you basically stop, can't fire, but you're invincible and you deflect bullets. I haven't- I've only played this game about an hour or so, so I don't have all the items your current class. That actually sounds really good, because um, I've just been selling all of my extra loot. So like I said, the game is a roguelike, and you can actually pick which one of these levels you want to play, and none of these are super enticing to me, so you can actually reboot the RNG. The first tick is free these extra large hmm. well, I guess let's do this huge easy level with lots of loot I wasn't expecting to get like added stats Oop. that is like a explosive barrel so the basic weapons also depend on your class you can any class can use any weapon but your starting stuff as the fortress is you get this long-range missile which is very useful and you get this little pop gun which is okay we're gonna replace the pop gun as soon as possible but I actually rather like because the fortress is a little slow and uh, I try to play it a little safe because you know it's a roguelike um, I personally really enjoy the ability to sort of cheese out enemies and just nail them one by one with this long-range missile most enemy or most weapons do not go beyond the screen length, which is why missiles are pretty unique in that. That's right, Parker. I'm actually recording from my couch today. Um, hopefully, nothing t goes wrong too much. Um, this is making it a little bit easier with the uh, Xbox One's um, little 3.1 jack. I think you can get that. Can you get that working for? DualShock 4? I haven't really tried that too much since I got the Elite controller. Um, the Steam controller definitely doesn't have it. That's definitely something they're going to have to correct in a revision of that. Uh, it's a very nice feature to have. Ow. Ow, ow, holy crap! Okay. Yeah, enemies that have missiles are pretty much why I like to have missiles myself, because look at that. Almost all of our health gone from one guy that's just being a jerk. Look at- oh my god. I'm actually really tempted to restart this run, because I mean, this is just the first level. This is bullcrap, frankly. Oh my god, we're gonna die. It's just gonna happen at this point. I'm not usually this bad, I usually die at level 4, not level 1. So, uh... Um... Ugh. This is unfortunately... When you get a very large level, even if it's easy, um, you can take a lot of damage just by being unlucky and having, you know, an elite enemy spawn. That is something that happens. It gives you little tips. Um, one, one of them I noticed that is the game, it, ha it has basically the badass system from uh, Borderlands, where some enemies are stronger and have better loot. Generally they'll be bigger, and uh, the little circle under them is a different color too. So I think red is the super badass one. Um, you know, it's the one with, you know, they drop like five items, but they have crazy good weapons and health. 
We're not likely to see any of those in this area. I have four health. I can't believe I'm alive. I'm not going to survive long. The, these first levels don't usually go too bad. While I like the fortress, it is ab the starting weapons are terrible. The rocket's pretty good, like I said, but the little pop gun just sucks. And it's very frustrating to have to complete a level with it. It's not too bad against these little dorky things. But, uh... Against anything big, you just want to have that missile. I should I should try the dash. I think it might have a better... Oh, yeah, we're dead. And you can see our little brain as you die. The game has a four-player co-op system. I don't have a co-op buddy to uh, test it with today here, but... Uh... Well, you know what? <laughs> we're gonna do a dash character. Yeah, here's the four-player menu. I'm not sure if there are any intended classes. All right, let's start with a cutter. Um, I actually think I'm just gonna go with the tried and true. Um, where is it? The health up. Do I go past it? Yeah. This recovers like half of your health. Um, all of these are. Um, sure. Actually, I haven't used melee weapons before, so this could go wrong. Who knows? <laughs> it sort of forces you forward. See, so yeah, the dash. I didn't even use my shield. I completely forgot about it, honestly. Um, but you can dash through bullets, which sounds very risky. It might be more useful for. Oh, there's nothing in that. For um, missiles. I'm not sure if the missiles activate. I hope not. I mean, that would sort of defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm used to my stronger weapon being the other, the opposite trigger. You have, you, in, you can independently fire your weapons if you didn't notice. Uh, the controls are very simple. Just twin stick, left and right trigger to shoot. You've got your special button, which is a dash in this case, and ow. You've got your skill button. Holy crap, what the... What is wrong with these levels? I... <laughs> these things should not have rocket launchers! What is this garbage? Okay, just kill me then. That's whatever. I don't even have time to kill that many trash mobs with dangerous missiles. Um, I swear the RNG is just being bad. I usually have a decent time with the first couple levels. Um, it is a little frustrating to be stuck on the first level, because your starting weapons, frankly, they're garbage. Um, I do... Um, small maps, definitely better. Um, what was I going to say? I do have some complaints. My biggest complaint is how the weapons um, swap stuff works. It's just not like Borderlands, where there's easy comparisons. Um, I'll show you the comparison menu once I finally manage to actually beat a level, but um, there's a lot of improvements that I feel could be made to that the selection interface. Oh, come on, recharge. This thing recharges so slow. So yeah, our trick with this model is that we can spam both weapons and move a little faster and burn through our energy really fast. Um, I think with some weapons that don't burn out so fast, it might be pretty nice. But uh, as is, I usually just fire normally. I mean, it works all right, but it's really hard to not overheat. And then once you overheat, it's basically no longer worth it. Uh, I, keep, I keep seeing the cross and thinking I need to press the D-pad. But no, I need to press the left mount or the left button. Oh, come on. Okay, so there's a baddie. Oh, oh no, I killed it. So we got some decent loot in this level, actually. There are lots of uh, elite enemies. Which that's actually very good to have lots of elite enemies. Because then you get lots of loot, and they're not really that bad, unless they have rockets. And honestly, since trash mobs can have rockets too, it's really just 
enemies having rockets is the hard thing more than anything. Because they're just a real pain to dodge. Trash mobs usually have those basic pop guns though. So visually I really like the look of the game. Oh right, I didn't even ask where you did complete the level. To beat a level you just destroy all those reactors, the things with the big gem in them. And now that we've successfully beaten a level, you you can restore 25% of your health for free every level, and then after that you co it costs like a thousand scraps, which is your currency. Um, you can forge rare items. I'm not sure how rare, but um, they're better than common anyway. B by using some scrap, you get a totally random part. I don't really want to waste my scraps yet, so let's just equip some stuff. One thing that is really annoying, note the class at the bottom here. I think this is coincidental in this case. I, I've i found many cases where they aren't in order. Uh, maybe that was a fluke. They seem to be in order now. But I would kind of like just to be able to go, like, move up and down and, like, have, like, three rows of, like, a row for each class of each item. But, uh... I'm just going to trash all of the items for my other classes. And you can switch classes! Uh, these both suck, but this is slightly less bad. I would kind of like a checkbox where I can just auto-sell items from other classes, because... At present, I don't really... feel switching... classes is efficient for me. Ooh! Yeah, I think that's going to be the best one for me. The annoying thing with the, how the game handles quote-unquote new items is that it's new until you equip it. So, or actually I guess it's new until you go to the next thing. But, uh, I think we're pretty good here. So we definitely want to change this pop gun. One really nice thing about the comparison though is that it shows you the gun being fired. So that's a pretty good spread gun. Basic. That's our crappy pop gun. Ooh! I think I want one of those. Oh, dang. Yeah, I want that. And let's see what other guns we got. There's a lot of gun variety and lots of like minor quirks each gun type can have. So like there can be continuous lasers or there can be zap lasers. Um, and of course the zap laser is going to do a ton more damage per hit. I'm not sure what the gimmick of these are. The I guess- oh, it's a real gun, I guess that makes sense. But, uh... Yeah, let's try those. I- I- I do understand that- oh. Self-destruct. Oh. Should I go for it? Three minutes- yeah, I never go three minutes. Um, every once in a while there's those- these- the blue colored or the teal colored levels that have special objectives or complications. Um, my favorite one is one that's just a level completely full of uh, elite enemies that have extra drops. Oh crap, oh crap. This level. unusual. The lasers aren't as good as they should be, in my opinion, because they have this weird waggly effect that they have. I think. I think there's some auto homing that makes them a work a little better. But I, it just feels clumsier than I would have expected. It, it still works perfectly fine, but I, the aiming just feels like delayed and kind of drunk. All right, I forgot I have this awesome thing that, oh crap. Okay, wow, that is not something I can use with, um... Is it really my laser that uses up? Oh, I guess they just both have medium draw. But yeah, this combo is very not good for my, uh, Rampage ability. Because I just run out of energy so fast. I, I don't really like the Rampage ability. It's a shame because the Rampage bot has my favorite starting weapons. Um, I should probably keep going instead of... Farming for loot. Not really farming, but uh. Ugh. Where is the thing? 
Oh god. Where are the goddamn energy things? There's way more crap on this map than I was expecting for a three minute map. Um, this is probably bad. There we go! <laughs> okay, this laser is going, but this thing, I rather like this thing. Uh, assuming we survive, I like this thing anyway. I don't think we're gonna survive. We just need one more- off. Oh, frick. Of course I do way worse when I am recording than when I was playing normally. I will say, the easy mode is not easy. Or the quote-unquote, they call it arcade mode, but it's still roguelike. It's not... Like, that's just a difficulty selector. It doesn't really change what, um... How the game works. Uh, the way I was expecting it to work is that the roguelike mode was, was, you know, a roguelike, and the arcade mode, like, had a continue option, but no. Yeah, here, enemies can be harmless champions, elites, or super elites. So here's the shield that I kept forgetting to use. It reflects bullets, so you can kill enemies with it, but... Uh, I, I don't tend to depend on that. The annoying thing is the shield draws on the same energy as your weapon stuff. So you kind of need to keep your weapon use above 50... Or your energy level above 50%. Uh, so... And it doesn't reflect fire. I guess that makes sense, but it's still frustrating that these little flamethrower bots, you can't kill them with reflections. Also, it's really hard to tell what you've actually picked up. It shows up in the top left there. I guess it's because of the co-op element. It'll show up, you know, for whoever gets it. But I'm never looking over there. I, it's not too bad. I just look over my loot when I once I end the level. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> there seems to be hit stop, regardless of whether the rocket hits an enemy. I'm not entirely sure if I... I agree with that design choice, but uh, it's not too bad. I thought the game was choppy at first when I was using these rockets, but no, it's it seems to be quite intentional. It's just hit stop. Ah, oh, missing with a missile like that hurts. There we go. I hope I got his gun, heavy rail and now. There's this heavy plasma thing I've gotten before that is really awesome. The annoying thing about a roguelike game is that. If I find something cool off camera, I can't necessarily show you it on camera. I'm not sure why the first why it doesn't just auto repair you for that free one. But whatever. Let's chill, sell the other classes ones. It's a little annoying that I have to go through all three menus for that too. No, we can't do anything. You can also buff what, um, equipment with some scrap. <clears throat> Excuse me, with some scrap. But it's not really worth it for our base garbage that we're going to throw in the trash almost immediately. Recharge. Uh, that'll do. So this thing we definitely want to ditch. Oops. No, not. Ugh, I want to see the other guns. Thank you. Ooh! Not too bad. I wonder, are the railguns long range? The one thing I really don't like about this comparison test is it does not show range. Like, this rocket goes way longer range than this thing. You would absolutely never know that from this comparison, and it doesn't show anywhere on here either. It's just inherent to the weapon, and you just have to know about that, and that's a little annoying. Uh, I am not too impressed with any of these, to be quite honest. I guess I'll try this one out. Sure. I do make the mistake of... Self-destruct, no. That's where I died last time. It even shows you where you died in the last run. Um, you. One cool thing, if you do complete the teal levels, it'll actually give you um, a token where you can skip a level. But I don't like that self-destruct thing. 
So we're just going to do this one. I should have rebooted the RNG. It seems like the RNG ones can actually give you worse levels. Because, like, it'll give you extra hard or extra large ones. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. This thing... This thing was a mistake. You kind of want one cheap gun and one expensive gun. Okay, I, I misunderestimated what what we were looking at with this. Um, this should have replaced my machine gun, because it seems to be long range. Or not my machine gun, my rocket launcher. So I'm going to have to take this slow. I guess it's extra good that I didn't do that uh, timed mission, because we would have been totally screwed. I might still be totally screwed, but yeah, this seems like... It seems like a, a legit long-range weapon. Oop! Oh. Ouch. At least we got lots of crap. Why are there so many of you? Oh, for Pete's sake! Why? Why are there so many? How dare you! I. I swear, I usually have better luck. The, the easy mode is definitely not that easy, unless the normal mode just, like, instant kills you the moment you spawn or something. <sighs> I swear the fortress is good, but you have to, like, get a secondary gun that doesn't suck. Or, like, an alternative to that, um, the little pop gun it gives you.
I like this with an easier level, like, um, one thing I really liked about One Way Heroics, um, it has really good easy mode stuff and lots of configuration options and stuff. Uh oh. And, um, I beat my, like, second attempt, and I didn't, like, feel like I was done. I just felt like I could challenge, you know, a harder mode now. And it was just nice to not immediately die. Interesting placement of reactors here. Okay. See, I like this assault rifle of killingness or whatever it's called. I've gotten some fun weapon names. Like, there was like. Um, I had some lubricated impaler. That's always a classic. Um, that's one of the melee weapons. I don't seem to see many melee weapons. I got one melee weapon that it caused explosions once. That was a pretty cool one. I That run didn't go very far, unfortunately, either. Oh, come on! Ugh, I need a faster recharging thing. I found stuff that reduces your overheat um, delay. That's That's good for me because I tend to overheat a lot. Obviously, you're not supposed to overheat as much as I am, and like, I don't really have a full grasp of the systems. Like I said, I only played about an hour or so. But uh, I do really like what we got going on here. And it's still in early access. I'm not sure what point they plan to release the game. I haven't really kept up on it. It's been, it's in, been, bleh. it's been in alpha and beta and all that crap for a while. But it's pretty playable at this point. It doesn't have like story cutscenes but it has its minor tutorial now which uh, I was I was pretty lost when I first played it before the tutorial existed but uh, I think it's pretty reasonable to get into now I do think it could use some better oh god that weapon's called the hellfire it's really nice but uh, it as you might expect it runs out of your energy really fast but ah damn it explosive barrels I think those like speaker things can drop weapons, but it's fairly rare. Um, let's just forge some random crap, shall we? S soft sensor of smooth unification. The adjectives. Ultimate propeller avoiding. The adjectives, unlike Borderlands, the adjectives don't seem to actually relate to the special effects. It's kind of a shame. Because in in Borderlands, the, the titles and stuff weapons have are usually pretty, like, quantic. Um, reasonably descriptive. Alright, let's see if that's better than my rocket. Oh, I got tons of rockets. Is there any that are universally better? Shot EP. Shot damage slightly down. Uh, that's another thing. I actually can't tell if it's slightly down or if it's just horribly down because all you see is the arrow. I mean, I guess Borderlands has that issue too. Plasma gun. That's too slow. Oh dang, the fire rate is way up. Oh, it's a two fire. Mm. The multi fire rockets are way less accurate. Twin missile of virtualization. I don't know. I do like that the shot EP is lower. I think I'm going to try that one. I might regret it. Let's try the higher fire right weapons. No. 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 An issue with fire is it's actually fairly weak, but it, it does a little bit of extra damage over time. I think that one seems pretty good. 
So I check out my other equipment. Oh. Um. Oh, crap. That's another class. Alright, so that's what's on. So I feel like I'm wasting your time with these switching sections, and it's slower than I like it to be for sure. Um, I have complete garbage equipped. Um, these are identical, so sell that one. This is also identical. Overheat. I'm not entirely sure what overheat minus seven percent. I think it reduces the time I spend in the overheat state. Let's see, yeah, let's let's do this. Mm. I like that lower DP cost, so I think that pretty much balances out. All right. Tempted to just skip the level, but let's see what we get with rebooted RNG. Oh, uh, that's a huge level, but let's go for this one with the extra loot. Frostbite. So yeah, there's a the level variety. Like the level themes aren't too bad, but they all boil down.
have a lot of money. That was a pretty good amount. Propeller of dancing. These are not as cool as they sound, but uh, sensor of noise and judging. I do kind of wish I could tell what things did. That sounds good. Charge minus 20. Hold on, what? Uh, that's... Okay. Wow, I have way too many of these. I'm just gonna sell all items except the one I have. Core, all of the classes. So you can see how tedious it gets to sell all of the crap again and again. Ooh! Crap, I don't have enough scraps. Well, let's sell some guns I don't need then. Okay, let's sell all the old ones. Yeah, those that that's the grenade launcher I mentioned earlier. It's really frustrating to use. They do explode on contact, but they just eh. It doesn't do anything for me. I do wish you could sell weapons by type. Ooh! Why must you vie for my heart like this? Okay, the flamethrowers are definitely going. That's the flamethrower. Oh man, which one of you is better? Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. And what do we replace our rocket with? Kinda eats it up too fast. Let's wait, how much damage is that? That should be alright. And I actually wanna buff my was it the core? Is that the one we buffed a lot? Yeah, because I want that EP usage rate down. Yes. Okay. I feel a little silly spending all of that, but... Uh... But now we should use a lot less energy. And wasting energy is definitely a problem for me. Um... Since this is a small one, we're just going to go do it. Oh! I guess you don't. You only get a free. You get one free re-roll. I thought maybe you got a one free re-roll per map, but no, you only get one per level or per run. That's sensible though. Okay, this seems like a valid. I. You slip on ice even when you're not on the ground. Now oh, whatever. It's all cosmetic, I guess. Um. I guess I didn't mention it. those crystals the enemies drop recharge are special if that wasn't apparent. Oh man, I really like that gun. See this, this is a run. Those other runs, that that was just actual garbage. This is a run. Oh, and look at it has pretty good range too. 
And it goes to the left right screen. I think the boss would have been susceptible to melee. Assuming it's the same boss. I've actually only seen the boss once. I'm not sure if this is one of those games with tons of different bosses or... Yeah, this looks slightly different. Oh crap. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, this, this seems like a good setup. I should stop overheating myself though. Once it's in that damaged state, yeah, the melee is really good once it's already damaged. Or once it's... it seems like it's stunned once I defeat the weak spot. I wasn't sure how that worked the first time. Yeah, it seems like they spawn tons of trash mobs. <laughs> Not used to which weapon is which. Why it... I swear it wasn't doing damage a few times there. I should. Ah. Ah. No. So yeah, the trash never stops coming. Up. Oh. No. Like having this much HP is really nice. Not bad at all. Aw oh, crap, why did I waste my heal? I guess I was expecting lots of crystal drops. Alright. We finally got a run going. I, I will no longer feel bad about my performance after this run. This is probably my last run for the video, but uh, see that that sell everything button would be real nice. This is garbage. So let's see. I guess let's just see. Ah, special power isn't really very relevant for this one. Okay, yeah, the later boost. So I guess the boost, the trick of the boost is the first one is just garbage, but uh, the later ones can be pretty legit. Better SP. Yeah, no EP cost reduction though. The EP cost reduction is real nice. 
Because that can make the difference between a weapon that um, that burns you out or a weapon that has like basically infinite power, like that recovers as fast as it fires, basically. I think I will keep that cutter. But I don't think I will use it for a normal level. Damage. Fire rate manual. Is this the one I have? Yeah, that's the one I already have equipped. And we're gonna sell that. Oh, that railgun's weak. That seems pretty strong, actually. Damage that wise. Oh wait, that's damage per second, so each shot is... Nah, we're gonna stay with the tried and true missile. Um... Sure. Honestly, I prefer smaller levels to easier ones. The big levels can get pretty annoying to go around in, to be quite honest. Oh, I love this gun. Oh crap. I, I should probably still be a little bit more economical with my bullets. The melee enemies can hurt a ton if you let them near you, so, so don't, don't do that. I'm kind of thinking the hit stop for rocket explosions should only happen if it hits something, or at least if it's on screen. Like, it's a little silly that I hit get hit stop when I don't even see the missile explosion. Also, I have screen shake off. The game does have screen shake. Um, I know lots of people think it makes the game feel more punchy. Um, I felt it was a bit too much in this game, so I just turned it off. Oh, that was a really small level, but that's fine. Cause we still got a decent amount of loot, really, especially considering how small the level was. Um, equipment. Ugh. There is a special power you can get, or a special ability you can get, that just only gives you the items from your um, from your class, but that would mean for going about a 50% heal every couple levels, which is not something I'm willing to part with. Nice. That is actually very significant by the end there. So I guess once you find a decent, rare um, part, you should just upgrade the heck out of it. There's no way I'm getting rid of that gun. I don't like the flamethrowers, so no. Move. Wait, how much energy does he use though? Seventy. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of want to stick with the rocket because the the explosion radius is pretty nice. Keep that just in case, but I don't think I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna use it. All right. Crazy difficulty, but super small. That's that sounds fine. There's actually, I think I mentioned that already, but there was a there's a special level that is just full of elites, and that is actually great because they'll get tons of equipment out of it. Whoa, you guys have a lot of health. I guess that's makes sense with the difficulty. But, uh, I'd still rather have a hard, short level. Oop. Gonna make me eat my words. Ah, grenade launcher. Really do not like those. In general, grenade launchers sound a lot cooler than they actually are in practice. Did I forget to heal last level, or did I just not have damage to heal? I forget. 
just in general, grenade launchers, I, there are exceptions for sure, but I just feel they're generally just not as good as alternatives. Because they usually have weird arcs and... Oh, crap. Oh, nothing. I don't even remember the last time I used my shield. I guess it was during that boss. Shield works against melee, that's good to know. An issue with the shield is that if you're not reflecting shots, you're stuck and you're not getting in a better position and your energy isn't re recharging. So you gotta have a good reason to initiate the shield, because you're never gonna get in a better position unless you know you're waiting for out for a big volley or something. So yeah, definitely heal. Like I said, I'm not sure why that healing isn't automatic. Whatever. Scraps. What are these? No. No. I saw that one. What's this? Ah. Let's just look way cooler than they actually are. Wait. Whoa. Holy crap. Deal. Ditch that. Wait, which is better? Railgun. 70. Okay, it's this one. Hmm. I guess this has lower... Can I boost guns? You can boost guns! Why didn't I think of that before? Alright. There's a lot to take in in this game, so I feel slightly dumb. I kind of want to skip this. I, I'll skip the next level so we make sure we see the next boss. I'm kind of puzzled by the loading screen because, I mean, the game actually loads almost instantly, so I just. I find myself just kind of sitting there for a second. It's like, oh wait, no, it already loaded. Calm down. I didn't see. Did this increase in. Just damage or did it increase an EP cost too? I guess I should have paid a little more attention. Yeah, boosting seems to be a lot more relevant than I initially realized. I was initially just gonna wait on better gear, but it it seems like super rare gear is pretty much like there there aren't levels to gear other than you're boosting them, so if you get super rare gear early, it's gonna be relevant. It's not like Borderlands where you have like constantly climbing ladder.
they do have good good ambience in the levels. The levels or the music's a little subdued. I don't know. It's not bad, but I just it doesn't leave much of an impression. Necessarily a bad thing, though. I definitely take, you know, subdued good music to impossible to ignore, take you for a ride, tear, please shut up music. Ugh, stop with these things, they're hard to kill, man. Actually uses it really slowly. I guess it's because I have so much AP now. But I should really remember to use that shield more often. Let myself get up, get a better shot or something. Ugh. When I saw high difficulty, I didn't think it was just gonna be crammed with annoying guys. Like I, I majorly prefer to face one big tough enemy than tons of these little trash things. So kind of annoying to kill. And while I like this thing, it doesn't definitely doesn't kill them in one hit. I should probably just start teleporting away the moment I uh, reach the end of the level. There we go. There's a toughie. The annoying thing is, I don't think you're actually guaranteed to get the weapon they drop. That's not really a super amazing gun, but uh, well, I guess it depends how much damage it does. But spread and rate of fire wise, it wouldn't be my favorite. I'm gonna tempt fate. Just maybe I can charge up my energy meter before I leave here. Ooh! Okay, tempting my fate was worth it, because we got some nice items. Alright, let's go. I did not intend to play this this long. I didn't think I would live this long, actually. Whew. That is expensive. Costs seem to constantly go up, which makes sense. So you might just basically do what I did, and make sure you upgrade, or you get some nice rare items early on. all my other class crap. Yeah, we're still at this situation where I have stuff that's better base stat wise, but it would be a bad idea to choose without upgrading. So actually dang that's really good health wise. Catling gun of triple breaking. Dang, this is better in every way other than that rate of fire. Yeah, let's ditch that. He seems to always suck. Yeah, it sucks. That's a good thing. Ooh! Dang, that murders energy rate, though. <laughs> Poor plasma bomb of dark voiding. <laughs> Are you okay? One, three thousand damage? <laughs> Barbarian holy grenade of father unification. That is... I can't tell if that's terrible or amazing. I kind of want to use that on a boss. Man, we, don't, we don't take kindly to those flamethrowers in this house. Oh, it has... Oh, that's cool. Hmm. I guess not all the flame tr or the grenades are bad. 
They're so weird. I'm really tempted to try this stupid thing out. How much hit dam on hit dam? Seems pretty risky, but I think I can max this out. All right. All right. Unknown destination. And you can't skip the boss, unsurprisingly. Oh, is it in the dark? Oh. What? Why was I frozen there? Ow. What? Wow. Okay. That's another thing. It's really hard to practice the bosses because, you know, the roguelikeness. No daily run yet. So, in general, I really like it. Um, I, I just could deal with an easier or like a mode with a continue button um, or something like that. Because, I mean, arcade feels pretty decently punishing still. And uh, I could definitely deal with some better tools to sort through the weapons. I, I did, it's not too bad, but I don't know. It'd be nice to see the like have an option at least to see the percentage change or like the the, the numerical change between items when you're comparing them. But yeah, that I'm not sure when. Let me take a quick look here. Yeah, it's just the the early access release date. It's it's all on Steam for ten bucks currently. Uh, I guess they're gonna have a daily run. I'm not sure what they mean by resume. Like, is that if it, just if you leave, like Binding of Isaac does now? If you quit, you can get back in. That'd be nice too. But yeah, it's definitely shaping up nicely.